What's happening, guys? Come we here and we're back. So. So what's it really like? Kick it huh? off. The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share like thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, alright? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew! What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. But it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. <laughs> huh? Opposite trying to smash. Stuff here at some chest. The people of South Gand originally worshipped Amenoch, the Empyrean of Water. The lives of the people of the Southern Isles are inherently tied to the sea. Whether it was gratitude for a good catch or an appeal for protection, everyone offered their prayers to Amenoch. But the Abbey worships Enominoch, don't they? Do the people still keep their faith? Most of the people obey the will of the Abbey. But one small village deep in South Gand is a special case. The village is called Haria, and even now they keep their faith in Amenoch. They've even quarreled with the Abbey. I'm grateful that they fight off the demons. I really am. But do they have to dictate which gods we worship to? They think they do. It's their tr Sounds like they're just a bunch of douchebags. Worship our gods, eat our food, use our products. That's a lot of food. Does she want children? Oh no, I'm not. I'm not playing the character card game. Fuck that. I was confusing as hell the first time I played. It's probably still the game, so. I really gotta get out of here. <clears throat> the longer I spend time here, the more I'm like, I really need to take a vacation. I haven't had a vacation here. I mean, I take vacations. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm making air quotes. Because, like, all the vacation time I have, I have to spend on, like, oh, Three's coming up, gotta go to that. Oh, Pax is coming up, gotta go to that. So like, while it's a vacation in the sense that I'm getting away from home, it's not really a vacation because it's still... I just need a fucking week down on a beach in Mexico. Volleyball, here, some jet skiing. That's, that's what I need. Preferably sooner than later. I already have a float on her, don't I? 
Not used for good I'll say boots there, but Amber boots. A pair of paddle boots. Shoes, hard shoes. Alright. Now let's look some new stuff that I don't have one of those yet. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. Ribbon. I don't think I have. Oh. There. have, young man. That is a doll of the Empyrean Amenoch. That's... Empyrean Amenoch? Yep, no doubt about it. I've seen her with my own eyes. Real dignified, but not without a bit of a temper. You saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbeys banned any profession of the Amenochian faith in Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. I tried talking to her, but no matter what I said, she was just like... <sighs> oh. Wait, that sounds like... And that low-energy goddess you saw? The doll you've got here looks like her? Yeah, more or less. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? So, shopkeep, where'd you see her? I think it was down by McClear Beach. Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, to the beach! Ugh. Why didn't you mention Grimoire as a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere! <laughs> so where am I going? Or that way that's blocked off, maybe? Is that not blocked off anymore? Yep, that's gotta be it. Mockler Beach. Beautiful waters. So this is Mockler Beach. I hope she's actually here. Ooh. It's a biggie.
level, level up. Fire mine, floric ribbon. Damn it, did I just buy a floric ribbon? I challenge you. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that move, because it groups them all up, makes it just that much easier to shit up. Hey, is everyone alright? Lurk Pendant is done. Started on crossbow. And the area with monsters has this like nice kind of jammy uh, thing going on. I challenge you. <laughs> Just fine, Lapsa. Very This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Laffy said or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything! In that case, I've been wondering, huh. what's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! It's all pants with you. All right. Is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! We Norman hate being called that! Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable. That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different. That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that! When he's on there being at least one chest up here. And... Up higher. Come on, big money, no whammies. Show me the chest. There it is. Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. 
I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. <laughs> is he adorable too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Chigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually, when I'm talking with Lafayette, sometimes I think, this is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense <laughs> seriously, Lafayette. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh, two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick. Which one will the Muppet pick? How about an older brother instead? Not hurt, are you? Gotta get that mastery. Oh boy, what to start you with? Ember garment. Let's see, that's a rarity too. Let's get that shit out of the way. Wait, there's something else that's mastered. You. Uh, have that. Have that. 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 On to the midi blouse you go. Penguins doing? Probably keeping their eggs warm. Most likely, they look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But how do they make the eggs? <laughs> <gasps> That's well. So, Laffy said, here's an interesting fact. A single penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs. Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich penguin thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. That's a horrific name. <laughs> I was the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. Yeah, take its eggs and then kill it and take its thigh and... We got the whole family in a bowl. It's delicious. I mean, don't get me wrong. 
Uh, if something is delicious, I'm gonna eat it. I, I give no fucks. You better be ready. But context of how she's talking about it is just kind of kind of a poor taste. Stop casting shit. Why the hell is she hitting stuff with water? Try as they might, it won't water monsters. How the hell did I miss a chest out here? It's in this little nipple down here. It's down here. Well shit. I ain't going back. Here he is. Code Red Hunt over here. Seems to keep like teleporting in front of me. Let's see one down there. Let's do it. Let's jump in. Are we ready for this? Gotta cast that rail and grab the ball, buddy. Demon. Is that Grimoire? <sighs> She's moving away. A dragon? No, just a big lizard demon. Is it friends with the oh, shit. Dude, I wanted to get. Oh, 
Really, that's not enough? Lots of mastery. Shit. Oh, the right trigger with three work souls are by pain to activate. Extends the duration. Four seconds prevents status elements. It's cool. So she's the same sort of Moloch as Bianfu? You're Grimoire, right? <sighs> We've been looking for you. We need your help. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I know your witch friend. Oh. <laughs> Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you two. Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Which training? She was an upperclassman. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome, and we were hoping you could read it for us. Goodness, Mogilu. You of all people joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. Eh, that keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. Bien! Come on, Grim! Isn't there any way you can help us? It's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe you need some... incentivizing. Do it. I'm serious. I bet you are. <sighs> Your eyes tell me you're dangerous. Trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit. And at my age, trouble is something I'd rather avoid. How old are you? Ask me again and you'll get a firework in the tush. <laughs> uh, my apologies. It appears we've wasted our time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <laughs> well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah... My tuition isn't cheap, you know. 
You will teach me? No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am. You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. Let's see what we're looking at here. The language of ancient Averost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. Mm, you've redeemed yourself, young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. That works. Thank you. Fine. Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. Have a little fucking cooth, Velvet. You're asking a stranger to do something for you. Haria. Uh, anyway. We're gonna save this one here. Wrap things up. And then we will continue this moving into...